By the way, you'll be careful what you say now, because these guys, they're filming I you. know. There's been some breaking news in the Kate Middleton health crisis saga. As you know, I predicted that Kate Middleton would be back in the public eye around this time. And sure enough, according to People magazine, she's been spotted in public with her kids. While this isn't exactly an official duty, we should expect more of these types of appearances with the British press being kept at a safe distance. I know many of you out there still believe that Kate has passed on and that they're using a body double to fake her existence in some sort of highly coordinated conspiracy. But that's just not so. However, I understand how easy it is to get sucked into the worst possible scenario thanks to gossip columnists like Spanish journalist Concha Calea, who has been the absolute worst. Calea claimed on the Spanish news program Fiesta that Kate was in a coma due to complications from what was officially described as planned surgery. Calea alleged that unforeseen complications had led to an induced coma and intubation. The palace has vehemently denied these claims, calling them total nonsense. Nonetheless, people tend to be attracted to dark and sinister theories like Kalea's, and it seems to stick in everyone's mind as good clickbait typically does. Now, I know many of you still believe that Kate is MIA, and like you, I'm anxiously awaiting those photos and her rumored health update statement. Until then, stay tuned for more realistic and accurate psychic insights into your favorite celebs and, of course, the royal family. In the meantime, be sure to support The Hidden Truth by tapping that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to click on the bell for notifications of new updates coming soon. And of course, tell me what you think. Do you think Kate has crossed over? Or that she's simply on a long road to recovery? Thanks for listening.